This is a teaching video. We are looking at the application of differentiation. This is the first of the many. But we are looking at tangents and normals. Up to now, when we look at dy over dx, we use it as a symbol of first derivative. dy over dx, so far, we have used it as the first derivative. But now, we are looking at dy dx as gradient function of the function of y equals fx. Now there is a strong reason why we take dy over dx as the gradient function. If you look at this graph, which is y equals x squared, take this particular point on the curve. This point on the curve is at x equals to minus 2. This point has a gradient. Because this is a curve, you also find Along the curve, you have different points, but with a different gradient. So, if I want to find the gradient on this curve at this point, then it can be calculated by simply, first of all, do the differentiation of this function. I get dy over dx. And that will give me index multiplied to the coefficient 2 x to the power of the index reduced by 1. So this is the gradient function. And what it means is I can find the gradient of different point on this curve. But for this particular, particular point, I will write it like that, dy over dx, one line down, subscript x equals minus 2. What it means is, to find the gradient of that point where x equals to negative 2, I have to substitute minus 2 into here. So, I have 2 bracket minus 2 and you can see the product will give me a negative 4. That point has a gradient of negative 4. If I draw a line as a tangent just touching this point, you can see that this line is dipping downwards from left to right and it's a negative, a line with a negative gradient. Of course, if I want to find the gradient of that point over there, and if that point, the x value is 1, you can see straight away the gradient will be 2. How do I do that? I will take this expression, 2x, Put in this value of x in there, 2 times 1 is 2. So, with this powerful idea of dy over dx as the gradient function of the curve, I can literally find every gradient of all the points on the curve. Previously, the gradient of the curve at this point where x equals to minus 2 
we found that to be minus 4. That is gradient of the curve at x equals to minus 2. Now, with one additional idea, that is the gradient of this line, the tangent. You notice that the tangent and the curve touch at this point where x equals to minus 2 on the graph. Well, because they share the same point, the gradient of the tangent will be the same as gradient of this curve at this particular point. Here we have gradient of the tangent to the curve at x equals to minus 2. As we said before, the gradient of the tangent is equal to gradient of the curve at x equals minus 2. So, tangent of the curve at x equals to minus 2, just to recap, is the same as gradient of the curve at x equals to minus 2. So, I have to be very specific because for this curve alone, y equals x squared, you can have many tangents. So we have to be specific to the point where x equals to minus 2. Next, I will introduce another idea which is normal to the curve. You see that the normal is here and it's perpendicular to the tangent. So whenever we have such an arrangement of two lines, one perpendicular to the other, if this line is the normal, the gradient of the normal will be uh, m with the subscript normal. This symbol refer to gradient of the normal. If this line is the tangent, then the symbol will be m subscript tangent. Because these two lines are perpendicular to each other, there is a rule that says the product of this gradient and this gradient is minus 1. To put it in this context, then I have gradient of the normal times gradient of the tangent is really minus 1. Because now I'm looking at gradient of the normal to the curve at x equals to minus 2, then I take this as a subject. I divide the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the equation by gradient of the tangent. So I have this expression. Negative 1 over gradient of the tangent. Now if I want to write this expression in the text form, it would be minus 1 over gradient of the tangent to the curve at x equals minus 2. But this is simple enough to help you remember. For the purpose of clarity, I have to make it very specific. We are referring to the normal and the tangent on the curve at x equals to negative 2.
Now you notice that the point of contact we refer to here is actually the point where the tangent touches the curve. But we look at the normal and the tangent and the curve. That point is the point of contact. And this point is also the intersection of the normal and the tangent. So the point is also the point of intersection. between the tangent and the normal at this particular x value x equals to minus 2 if you look at the equations of tangents and normal you just have to notice that the tangent and the normal are straight lines and therefore, both the tangent and normal must have this form y equals mx plus c Just to revise a little on this the m is actually the gradient of the straight line and c is just the y-intercept the y-intercept is the point where the straight line cuts on the y-axis for instance if I have a line that goes this way that is the c value that is where this straight line cuts on the y-axis so that C value is actually what the C represents there. Now we look at ways to find the gradient of the tangent first. If the gradient of the curve is m, then the gradient of the tangent will have the same gradient. Next, to consider how we form the equation, we'll have this y minus y1 equals to m, okay? x minus x1 now where I have y1 and x1 these values are taken from the point of contact so the x value drop into here the y value drop into there and this gradient of the tangent is actually the gradient of the curve at this point now we look at the gradient of the normal first. If the gradient of the curve is m, then gradient of the normal would not be m, but negative 1 over m. So with this, we consider the equation of the normal. Also in this formation, y minus y1 equals to this is where the gradient comes in negative 1 over m times x minus x1 again this is the point of contact we take value of x1 from the point of contact and the value of y1 from the point of contact 
Now, it may seem strange how we form equation of both the tangent and normal from this, but really, if you recall, gradient is equal to y minus y1 over x minus x1. So if you do a rearrangement of this, you will have y minus y1 equals to m times what you have in the denominator. So basically, with this arrangement, you just have to take care of what the gradient is. For tangent, the gradient is the same as the gradient of the curve. For gradient of the normal, then you have to take negative the reciprocal of the gradient of the curve. So we have come to the end of this segment.